Yes, today we're having a look again at the game of the map. We still don't have a name for it, but I've uh, I, made, I made some things. I made some upgrades. I'm hopefully not made too many downgrades. I think we should just jump into it. And then I'll talk about what I've done, and we'll talk a little bit about what's left to do, which is, I mean, most things, but let's jump into it. So, let's start the game, and I can run through all the things that I've done, uh, even though there's, of course, a lot of things left to be done, of course. Uh, so the first, most probably most striking thing here that I've done is actually the latest thing that I've added, and that's the, all the edges of everything is black. They used to be that you could see behind these things, but what I've done for performance, I didn't have any performance issues, but for performance reasons, maybe for the future when I have more enemies and stuff like that, I actually culled all the, all the, well, how should I explain this, all the triangles that were behind the wall, That's like it's we don't, you don't need to be able to see what's behind the wall, really. It's not needed to render that, so I cut that out of the code, so it doesn't even generate anything for that side, for the other side of the wall, and instead it just puts this black thing here, which is, uh, I mean, looks fine, I think. Uh, and, yeah, maybe it would be a little better on performance. Then, another thing is that items that are on the ground now have a slight glow added to it. You can still pick up from anywhere. I will change this in the future, but... Uh, and then, the next thing that I've done is that all the UI elements, I've kind of tried to sync the color scheme so that it looks more coherent. So, I only use a few fonts and a few colors now. I used to use a lot of fonts and a lot of colors. So now you can see the color... It's very similar on this pop-up as the background here, and the background on this thing that pops up is very similar to this thing, which is similar to this thing. So it's very, very few colors, and the same thing, you can see the fonts on this thing is the same as the fonts uh, when I hover over the item, and the fonts that uh, appear when I hover over these, and all the kind of uh, title, I don't know what to call this, the top part of every window is the same kind of bone white kind of color. I would probably change these colors a lot, uh, you know, all through development, but I think that it looks a little bit more coherent now. It looks like all the pieces of the interface, uh, that they belong to the same interface, what I'm trying to say. So that's cool. Then one minor thing, which I think no one would have noticed but me, is that, uh, I wonder if you can see this, yeah. Uh, maybe you can on <laughs> the recording, very difficult to see. There's actually a slight, a very, very slight edge around all these items, so they, they pop a little bit more, a little more from the background. Small thing. So, now let's go get to the, kind of the bigger thing. So the first thing that I did, is that I redid the stat system that I had for the character, so that, no, now it's an actual stat system. You can get bonuses to your stats, so before I had like 200 HP, but now it randomizes some items for you. I don't have a system where I have like uh, normal, rare, and magic items yet, which is something I want to build in the future. But what I have is this. So if I have a hover over this, it will always have armor on it. So there are some affixes that all items will have, and every chainmail will have these three slots. That's the three pluses that you can see. That those are the indications for the three slots that this gives. Uh, so for instance, if I take this away and I take the pants away, you can see that these pants grant this little slot for the legs, uh, that you can put on them. But of course, if I have this on, it's the same as before, I can't remove this. So, you can see what it gives, and then it gives it a name, and that name is based on the affixes on the item, and if it only has one affix on the item, on top of armor, because armor is not really an affix, I mean it is an affix, you know, behind the scenes, but it's also... Uh, something that is always generated on every armor. Every armor piece will always have armor on it. And armor is very, very simple right now. I don't know if I'm going to change this system in the future, but right now, armor just reduces flat amount of damage. So if you have five armor, you take five less damage. Might change in the future, but this is what I'm going with. It might be hard to balance, though, in the future, so we'll see if I stick with that. But I kind of like the system that they have in Stone Shard, so that's why I have it there. 
so it generates a name. So for instance, this has adds three health, and three health the that affix has two parts of it. it has a um, prefix and a suffix that it can add. So in this case, since we only have that thing, it will uh, it will take the uh, suffix, so it will become the valor. But you can have something like here. This thing is secret source, which sounds like secret sauce, but <laughs> that's not what it is. And that comes from two different affixes, because it randomizes what affixes it takes from. Uh, so secret comes from mana, uh, and mana increased by, I think, has source. I don't remember how I gave this out. But that's how it generates a name. So it's kind of like Diablo, but it, I felt like I wanted like weaker affixes on these things, and like more... When I get to more stronger things, like plus one all skills, then I'll add like cooler things like demons, grip, and I don't know, something like that. That's gonna be later. Uh, yeah, so here we have, also I have so, such few affixes now that often they generate with the same name, which, yeah, I don't know, doesn't look good. You get resplendent growth, for instance, and that's because you have uh, adds 18 mana, which the prefix is resplendent, and growth comes from health increased by 2%. So that how, that's how it generates that. Uh, so that will probably, you know, of course, update with... Like, all the things, they look very boring now. Like, adds 5 armor, adds 3 health. That's like the most boring item ever. I know. But the thing is, I don't have a skill set. I mean, I may have skills. But I don't have skill points. So I can't have, like, plus 1 to all skills. Or, like, uh, changes this skill in some way. Because I don't have that system implemented yet, so... Of course, the items are going to get more interesting later on, but... Uh, yeah, that's what I have for the items right now. But I think I'm going to leave it at that, and I'm going to see what I need to add to these items, and how, how it kind of works in the game, depending on balance, stuff like that. But the thing is, I only have two enemies right now. Uh, and kind of the idea here, the next video is probably going to be... It's going to take a while to get to this part, but the next part is, of course, going to be random level generation. Now I'm just... I have four rooms here, and they're always they're always the same. Of course, I can randomize the layout within the room, or like all the tiles, how these things look and everything. But I want to randomize like how many rooms there are, how the rooms are connected, so it like creates a dungeon every time you uh, start the game. Of course, it's going to be like an overworld or something, but that's you know way uh, past where I am now with the game. So for the time being. What I'm going to do is I'm going to generate one dungeon with a couple of rooms, and of course I'm going to have to add more things to make the rooms look more... They look way too similar now. Like, they have the same floor, the same walls, uh, the same interior, the same everything, essentially. So I, of course, want the rooms to look a little bit more unique, so I'm going to look at the ways of doing that, and I, of course, want to have the rooms connect to each other in kind of like a maze like structure where you go from your spawn position to some kind of stairs which leads up or leads down or something deeper into uh the caves and hopefully depending on what level you are things are going to look a little bit different and stuff like that so that's what i'm gonna work on that's gonna take a long time though to develop that algorithm uh, which puts enemies into certain positions and puts the player in some good position so that he can get through this maze and everything uh, but it's gonna take a while, so... Okay, now other things that I've done. Uh, blocking now works as it's supposed to do. So if I walk past here, I'm gonna take a little bit of damage, but it's gonna block a lot of damage because of my shield. We can also look at my shield, and my shield actually has now shield armor. And we can see that adds 100% shield armor to a direction until your next turn. So you will get 38 shield armor on top of the armor that you already have. So you're gonna block... Most damage. I think this guy has like 40 armor or something. Like that. Usually, it randomizes the items, but usually it's like 40 armor plus 38, and this guy is like 90 damage. So we're gonna mitigate everything but like 10 or something if we use this block. So it doesn't mitigate everything. Like here, it, we took 6 damage there. Um, but it mitigates a lot. And then I also added, because I thought that the basic attack animation looked a little bit bland. So now when I do this attack, you can see that if you, it's difficult to see, but now when I smack this guy, this slight, like, swoosh, <laughs> it's like a swoosh thing. You can see, this sword gets this um, 
line render behind it, which is slightly opaque, uh, or transparent, I mean, and it kind of fades out, so it looks like that swooshing motion. If you have a look, you can see it. And also there's a slight um, kind of force field impact when you, when it hits on, so it looks a little more juicy when you hit uh, the photographer, so it looks a little boom. <laughs> That's just how it is. Uh, okay, so, smack this guy down. Uh, what else did I fix? Did I fix some bugs also? Uh, well, a lot of bugs, but I think one that we saw in, I don't know, last episode or something. When I dropped something on the ground, it did not appear where I was. Also, now when I drop it on the ground, it has this glow on it. So it's easier to see, especially for small items like this. Can be a little bit difficult without the glow to see that this is here. Uh, but now when I drop things on different places, they, uh, they stay there. Which is cute. Uh, yeah, that's about it. It's gonna be a short update. I don't know how, how long was this. It's 10 minutes. <laughs> Whenever I say it's gonna be a short update, it's never a short update. Okay, uh, so yeah, that's where I am with the game right now. So the next part is, of course, going to create that randomly generated dungeon and create several rooms. And then it's gonna start looking like a game. I mean, we still have the entire progression system, like leveling up, putting in stats. Uh, and stuff like that. Uh, there's a million things. I want to do the start menu. I want to do an options menu. I want to do a character creation menu. But yeah, I mean, one step closer. I think it's gonna be, I don't know. I, I mean, there's years left of development, but I don't know how many. Difficult to say. So yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Looking forward to that next update. Very, very much. I think it's gonna be quite cool. See you then. Mamma shout out. Mamma mamma shout out. Shout out. Thank you everyone so much for watching. And a special thank you to our members. I'll maybe take this away now. <laughs> thank you everyone so much. And a special thank you, of course, to. Adam Alexis, Simon Lauer, Rodney Cox, Herman Monsters, The Soft Pillow, Shamanics, Alex Michael, Nathaniel Lizard, Lasers at the Stun, Jeff Henry, Michael W, Topless Investment, W Loot, Standing Seven Day, Peter Gold, Sean, Stevens, Gabriel, Juvenal, Way, Messi McGuan, Ye Old Bassist, Tai Tai, Yulai Moonlight Star, Drake 2000, Jurassic Fart, Badass I Wanna Be, John Dorman, Guess Osaki, Own77, Ellie Curtis, Noah VH, MC Hermes, Fumiaki, Kinoshita, Jacob, Steve Draminski, Strange, Bronti, Sky Surfer Zero, Tim Dutton, Jake Danley, Santa John, The McDuncan, Relgan, Chase Closed, Honsa Kos, Agony Reborn, Ramen Noodles for Me, Netherlex, Musketeer, Tom Q, Michael, Name the Epithet, Dear Lurgoth, Dimlit Knight, Stricker Mike, Mentosaurus, Michael Capito, Juan To Ying, Vincent Baudet, Paul Robert Miller, Anthony Nixon, Ninja Astro, Optimus, Michael Shatterson, Dan McSharp, Pocky Yu, Kitty Bum Lover, Magic Pistol Man, Seppi 1310, Martin Newman, Katrin Loiskel, That's Mr. God to You, Verokta, Jake Palmer, Thomas Schwartz, Kyle Hoff, Judy Robinson, Robert Montgomery, Alessandro Maschi, Salim Proctor, Robert Lewis, One Truth 365 All the Time, Jealous, Jason Ellison, Zach Koila, QGL889, Matt Frost, Matthias Porley, Some Call Me George, Paris Hammond, Bill Murray, Charlene Eaton, Pickle Paul, Matt D, Kyle Wedgwood, Patrona Bavaria, Simon Fairley, Jake McDonnelly, Dan Goodsell, Aaron Noble, Drew Stiles, Adam Alexis, Matthew Goggins, Betsuma, Serge Carmaro, Freeman Stephenson, Pete, Pote, Brandon Dobbs, DBK Drummer, Rainbow Cake, Avantum Tantum, Piotr Stalorsk, Super Noodle 7, Ninja Longnom, Infinite Draw, Dr. Jaden, Javier Diaz, Red Khan, Adam Ruth, Barbara McKenley, But With Ass, 7 Guys 777, Big Bob, MTG, Re Jack Rand, Patrick Henning, Liquid E, Thanatos, Nesmoth, Truman, Jellybean, Patrick Parks, Martin Newman, Jonathan Burgos, James Hazel, Mami Punani, Daniel Williams, Harshit Singh, Eat It, Alexander G. Valencia, Lochinator, Travis Markley, Grinning Demon, Mario Morales, Frank Sherwood, Dixon Sider, Farron, Eskai, Disquidus, I Ate My Neighbor, Yuto Ayase, Rofto, Robert Barker, Adam Jacob, Leth, Fernando Vizue Santos, Michael Driscoll, Shimapan Hime, and be say Mullins. You guys are amazing. If you also want to become a dark disciple, of course, and help rule the underworld, then check out the join button next to the subscribe button. Or why not check out my Patreon? Link in the description. Thank you much, so much for watching, everyone. See you tomorrow. There's also more videos that you might enjoy on this side. Or why not support me on Patreon? Link down below. 
or maybe check out the join button next to the subscribe button down there there <laughs> thanks so much for watching everyone and see you tomorrow